When you're working with large amounts of video or you're creating multiple projects, it's best practice to keep as organized as possible to make sure your production process is a lot more manageable. You may have already tried color coding your projects in the project manager, where you can give your project a color by tapping the circle icon here to the left of your project's name and choosing a color of your choice. This will color code your project and enable you to search for color tags using the English name of the color here with the search icon, helping you to organize your projects. You can also group your projects by color by tapping the sort icon and changing the field, you've guessed it, to color. Perhaps all of your YouTube videos are green and your Instagram projects red, or maybe you want to color your projects by subject matter or who you're producing them for. The choice is up to you. But you can also take color tagging to a whole new level by color tagging library clips or color tagging timeline clips. Color tagging library clips changes the root color tag of a clip in your media library and will help you organize your content before and while you edit multiple projects. Timeline color tagging gives your clips a color on the timeline to help you highlight different areas of your project while you edit. So let's start with color tagging library clips. To do this, you'll have to be inside a project and looking up towards the media library. Up here, we can see our clips in the photos tab. None of these are yet color coded at the moment, but if we tap on one like this, we can see the color tag icon lights up and we can tap to designate a color to our clip. I'll make this video yellow and now you can see it's yellow in the media library and if I drag it to the timeline, the video is now colored yellow on the layer, helping it stand out from the rest of the non-color coded clips in my project. Of course, this can be really useful for organizing your media. Say, for example, if you want to make all of your interview clips green, your B-roll yellow and your pieces to camera blue. Not only does it help us see our media more clearly on the timeline, this method of color coding in the media library can help us to quickly search for our clips by, like we did before in the project manager, search through by typing a specific color. What's really cool, as you can see here, is that you can also color tag other files like your music clips and your favorite transitions. So they'll all appear when you're searching, enabling you to pull out all your favorite files and clips and transitions for one or more projects under the same umbrella. When you color tag a clip in the media library, no matter what project you're in, and even if you start a new one, that file will be color coded as you've requested, as you can see here. But let's say you're done with this and you want to take a color tag off a clip. You just simply tap to highlight in the media library, tap on the color tag icon and tap the same color to take it away. Now that's color coding library clips, color coding the root of a clip. But as I mentioned, you can also color tag timeline clips, which we would recommend if you want to highlight particular areas of your timeline, or of course, certain types of clips within a project like your interviews and your B-roll, for example. So when you color code timeline clips, this is a change you make to the clips within the project itself, but will not affect the same clips if you want to add them to another project because they're not color tagged at the root of the source in the media library as we've seen before. So to do this, select a clip on the timeline and tap the information icon which tells you more about the clip settings. Next you're going to tap on these three dots at the side here and now you can see that along with changing the clip's name and adding notes, you can also add a color tag. Pressing a color here, say red, will change the color of that clip on the timeline. Tap on the information tab to exit the menu. Now it's worth noting here that if a clip is already color tagged in the media library, you can change its color on the timeline by adding a new color tag as we've just done. However, worth remembering, it will not affect the root color tag that's already been added in the media library. So you can see here, this clip has been color tagged as red in the media library. I can bring this down, I can change it to whatever color I like. However, if I bring that clip down again into my timeline, it will still be red because that is its now root color in the media library. So the timeline colors can be temporary, they can be switched around, you can do whatever you like with these, but if you've already color tagged it in the media library, that's the color tag it's going to be within future projects. Color tagging, whether you're in the project manager, media library or timeline will not show in your exported videos. This is a method guys purely to help you with your editing workflow. 
Any questions at all on this, please do pop them in the comments below. Or if you'd like to get in touch with us for personalized one-to-one -one live teaching from the Lumatouch Academy, please do head to our website. Bye for now. Bye.